Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. So, guys in today's video we are going to discuss about heat, internal energy and work in thermodynamics. So, let's begin. Before further proceeding let's look on a concept. Let us suppose body A with temperature 100 degrees Celsius and body B with 70 degrees Celsius are placed in thermal contact. After some time the temperatures equalize, the two body are then in thermal equilibrium. What's happening here? Why temperature equalize after some time when the bodies are placed in thermal contact? So, when two bodies are placed in thermal contact something flows from the body at higher temperature to the one at lower temperature. What does flow here? So the answer is heat. Heat flows from the body at high temperature to the one at lower temperature. Now, how can we define heat? So, it is the energy that is transferred between a system and its environment because of the temperature difference between them. Heat is a path-dependent quantity. For gases when heat is absorbed and temperature changes. Now, let's talk about internal energy. So, internal energy of a system is the energy possessed by the system due to molecular motion and molecular configuration. The energy due to molecular motion is called internal kinetic energy and that due to molecular configuration is called internal potential energy. Internal energy is simply the sum of the internal kinetic energy and the internal potential energy. Now, let's our last topic work. Suppose a gas is confined in a cylinder that has a movable piston at one end. If P be the pressure of the gas in the cylinder, then force exerted by the gas on the piston of the cylinder, F equals Pennsylvania, where is the area of cross-section of piston. When the piston is pushed outward by an infinitesimal distance dx, the work done by the gas dw equals F dot dx equals P adx equals P dv. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Stay connected and keep educating yourself. Bye bye take care. Please do like comment share and subscribe.